guys doing? 7 p.m. and I'm waiting. <laughs> it had been seven hours and Randy the whole time was like, he's not coming. And I'm like, he said he was coming. Um, he didn't come. I have tried on so many outfits today and none of them look good because the only things that fit well are musts. <laughs> Pants. Not, oh my gosh, I almost forgot what I had done. I was like, I'm not feeling the best. Um, no crap, you're not. Oh my god. It's hideous, but it's it might be perfect, you know? What are you guys doing? There's a cake here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My mom made this cake, and it looks like this because she had four different layers on it, and she was only taking layers off the top, and then she was putting it back together as she was taking cake off. <laughs> so half the cake is gone, but she made it turn into this again. If I can show you the original, um, I will pop it in here. But I came in here and saw this and I was like, what in the heck? I didn't, didn't realize what was happening though in the moment because I had mom come in here because we were all outside to um, cut the cake. And so <laughs> this is what is left. <laughs> he makes me laugh. This is obviously the aftermath. Asher just went down. It is way past his nap time. Everyone is gone. I feel disgusting. There's one thing I don't like about parties and stuff is like the cleanup afterwards. Like I'm gonna be steam cleaning the carpets and mopping and sweeping. You just have, there's a lot to do. Um, and our floors are white, so we have to. It's just it's just gross when you can see it. Like I think it's unavoidable to clean, you know. Whereas if we had wood, like do, like normal brown floors, um, we'd still clean, don't get me wrong, but not the need, the urgency wouldn't be quite there. <laughs> I am red, I put sunscreen on, but like you wouldn't even think that. It wasn't even sunny, it just got sun. It's sunny right now. I was maybe out in the sun for half an hour and this is the aftermath of a half hour. I had my hair cuter, but I got sweaty and I was like, I'm just gonna put in a ponytail until I shower, but I'm gonna have to wait to shower until Asher gets up from his nap because his bedroom and the bathroom are right next to each other. Um, I don't know why I'm explaining this. Anyways, I just wanted to pop in here and show you guys some of this stuff and um, because I told you I would. And really the rest of today, I need to go through inventory. And then we have so many orders to pack tomorrow. So this will be fun and I'll see you guys then. Bye. today which means not much we're gonna go out to dinner I have tried on so many outfits today and none of them look good because the only things that fit well are my sweatpants and my leggings you would think I was pregnant and I am not don't yeah it 100% not but I, like I don't know what it is my stomach has been like just full and it's not like squishy, it's just like, it reminds me of when I was 20 weeks pregnant. Like that's what I look like. I look like I'm going into second trimester or I'm in second trimester. Um, I did have my green dress on, but like even that, the, the buttons, they were holding on for dear life. I did go and I weighed myself. We don't have a scale here. I've mentioned this before. I did weigh myself at the Y today. And I'm only, I say only, I'm only 10 pounds more than I was last summer. Um, and I kind of thought that, I was like, I feel like I weigh 150. Um, trigger, I guess that's a post trigger warning if any of you like care about weight stuff. Um, yeah, so like, I felt, I feel, <laughs> like 10 pounds more, my stuff fit loose last summer. It's not like I went and bought smaller things, I didn't. Um, and then for some reason, everything's just extra tight now. Um, and like some things I just like, 
can't put on and other things that just does not look good and so this is what this is what we're wearing we're just wearing my dad jeans that um i bought because i gained weight uh, this white it was a bodysuit but i cut it because it was very uncomfy i'm not a tall girl but with bodysuits i am i think i just have a longer torso than my legs and i'm now bringing my little tan cardigan because it gets, it's like always cold in restaurants, you know? Cause like they don't want you to be hot. So we have that. It is warm outside though. We did have eight orders go out today. So it is starting to slow down, but even still, like I'm very, very proud of eight orders. Yesterday was 23. That was a lot. I don't know how people do it by themselves. Like if that's your normal, <laughs> because that took like three hours to do. And I didn't like, I, just doing new bookmarks to restock on top of that. Oh, I need to just like continue pushing them out. Even if I have a huge stock, just continue making them because you never know when a video is going to do really well and they're all going to leave you. So I do have a bead tray out right now to do a brand new design. So I think that's my goal tonight when we get home is to figure out what I want to do with it. And then I will pop on tomorrow to show you the final product. It is, I already know it is going to be, oh, other than my balloon dog that's saying goodbye, there's one left. It is going to be the cutest one I have. And I did make an order of a ton of strawberries again because um, I just want to make sure I have enough of them to keep making them and not discontinue it because it does really well. So, and that is all. I'm going to head to dinner and I'll see you tomorrow with the new product. Bye. And he's getting angry now, so that means it is over. So it's going to be a long rest of the day. Welcome back to another day in my pantry. It is Friday. We have a show tomorrow. The show is a Pride Festival. I know it's May, but it's just the weekend they always have it. It's always May. I don't know. But it's going to be very small. And so I, I feel good about it. I feel like... I'm relaxed with it. It's only one to six. P.S. We are packing orders right now. That's why you're in my pantry. <laughs> um, so I think we're good. The thing I am going to do differently tomorrow is I'm going to my charm bar. The main display were my build your charms and I do not want that to be the case because I've sold the least amount of bookmarks the last two shows I went to with that charm bar than I ever have like any show. And I know it's because people see that display, they don't read the sign that you have to like pick out your charms for it. So they see bookmarks that aren't cute, you know? And I say aren't cute, they just don't have the charms on it. So like they're not complete. So I'm not selling them. And so we're gonna change it to where the thing that I had the charm bar on, it's gonna just house the already made bookmarks, like my complete ones that I sell online. And then I'm going to do a side display of, um, I'm going to change the signage for the charm bar. Like build your own. It's just going to say, um, want to, like some, I haven't figured it out yet, but it's basically say like, uh, build your own. It's just going to be a small section. So we're going to see how that works out tomorrow. And hopefully that will sell me a lot of bookmarks again, <laughs> but online sales are still steady. I'm selling between like four to 20 a day still. Um, which is amazing. I'm definitely having more bookmarks leave than come in as far as me making. Like I have not been able to catch up on uh, being able to 
produce enough to sustain going to markets. <laughs> so at this market tomorrow, I'm definitely going to try my best to make a ton of bookmarks. Even if I'm not selling anything because my mindset of I don't want to take more home than I brought is stupid, especially when it comes to bookmarks because they're so tiny. You know, it's not like I'm making sweatshirts at the market. We also have right now a thing with our electricity where uh, we have this annoying chirping noise nonstop. So I called an electrician yesterday and the guy was annoyed like immediately. He answered the phone and this was like on Google, their business number. He just said hello <laughs> and like nothing else. So I'm thinking like I have the wrong number. So I'm like, uh, I'm calling to get an electrician out. <laughs> like very weary of this definitely is not the right number. And he was like, what's your name? Like very annoyed with me the entire time. Um, didn't ask for my phone number or anything. So like he said, I'll get someone out there. And so in my mind, I was thinking, awesome. Like in the next hour, I'm going to have an electrician here and my whole headache of this chirping noise is going to go away. Because that morning I'd woken up at 4 a.m. I could not sleep because of that noise. Um, so yesterday, P.S. Not last night, I passed out at 9. Um, when we were putting him to bed, I passed out before he put Asher to bed. <laughs> Good night's sleep last night. But anyways, um, so he said, I'm, I'll send someone out. And then like still like annoyed with me for some reason. Like the whole conversation, he must have had a bad day. Um, so I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it's 7 p.m. and I'm waiting. <laughs> it had been seven hours and Randy the whole time was like, he's not coming. And I'm like, he said he was coming. Um, he didn't come, didn't call, didn't show. Uh, of course, how would he call? Because he didn't ask for my number. I guess I could have called the number I called him on. So I guess I'm gonna have to call another electrician today. It's just annoying. I don't like calling people in the first place and now I have to do it all over again. And like I already sound dumb with it, you know, because I don't exactly know the verbiage to use. And I'm like, hey, we need a tiny little transformer box in our basement disconnected because I think it was the doorbells, but I'm not really sure. And hey, I think my husband might have like done, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I need a, Oh, I need to do that because I am slowly going absolutely bonkers over that noise. And then, like seven months ago, I signed up for a wine club where every four months I would get a case of wine from Gatlinburg. So when we went to Gatlinburg, I had um, signed up for. The, it was called the Rocky Mountain Wine Trail. Um, it's been seven months. I have not received any wine. They haven't charged me though. So I'm like, oh, I guess like maybe it's not even a really thing. Why do they have my credit card information? How do I get them to not have it? Um, but then last week or earlier this week, technically, I looked at my bank account and it said um, I was charged for a like case of wine. And so it apparently is a real thing and it's out for delivery today, hopefully. So that should be fun coming. Yeah, the plan for today is pack these orders, get that wine, call an electrician, go to the grocery, pack up Randy's truck for the show tomorrow, and then we'll get on the road. So I'll probably update you guys one more time before now and then, and then it'll be the next vlog, which is show day. I called the electrician much nicer this time. The same electrician was like, hey, this is my name. Um, I called yesterday. I was just like wondering if I'm I'm on the schedule and like if there's a day I'm on it for. And he like was, I could hear him fumbling, like rifling through papers. And he was like, are you going to be there now? And I was like, yes. He's like, okay, I'll be there in 30 seconds. So I, clearly he had forgotten. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say the day yesterday for him was probably not a good one um so we'll see how this goes hopefully it's an easy fix I hope so it doesn't look like whatever the thing is chirping is connected to anything anymore and so if he could just disconnect it that's fine but I'm not an electrician I have no idea what I'm talking about but Randy Sad came over yesterday and was like talking me through what he thought it was and so that's the verbiage I've been using Anyways, that is what's happening. So hopefully I can update you a little later with positive news. I don't think I showed you guys my new Gumby, Gumby, um, Gumby, Gumby. Is that the little green guy? I would love to make a Gumby. Is that the right name? <laughs> 
charm sometime. Um, my new gummy bear bookmarks. They're so cute. But I didn't get done yesterday, not yesterday. This week is doing my new Stanley belt bag charms. No, not Stanley. <laughs> Lululemon belt bag charms. Any kind of brand belt bag charms. Um, so maybe if I can make a couple tonight so I can debut them tomorrow, that'd be awesome. Who knows? Okay, that's all. I'll see you later. Again, I am still very confused. So he just showed up, <laughs> which literally was like a minute after the phone call because I guess he's doing a job in um, a street, a house that's a street over, which like obviously that's ideal. Um, but <laughs> he went down there and of course the thing's not chirping right now, right? It's on and off every like one second to two minutes sometimes. And um, he was only in here for like a minute. And I was like, I promise it's chirping. <laughs> and he's like, um, yeah, I was, <laughs> what did, how did he leave? I thought he was gonna disconnect it, but again, I don't know how that works. Apparently it's more than just like a few second job. But he he left saying, okay, well I'll get you on the schedule. Um, and so I still have no idea what that means. What does that mean? Is it today? Is it next week? Is it never? I, I'm so confused. The logical uh, brain would have been like, so what does that mean? You know, is there a day, time? Is it here? Um, and I just blanked again. I was like, okay, awesome. And then he left. So I don't know. Am I, can I go to the park right now? Can I not? Is there a man going to come over here and fix this? So I'm like, I need to go to the post office and they still don't have my number. <laughs> I, oh, every time there's more questions um, than answers. So great. Um, yeah. I guess we won't go to the park. I might just take him outside in the yard and have him walk around. Um, that'll be good enough, I guess. We have nothing to eat for lunch, and so with that, I am eating chili cheese dogs. Well, a bowl of it, essentially. So, I am painfully aware that when I come back on here later, I am going to be complaining of stomach cramps. I just want you to know first, this was, to, it was a choice. I made this choice. So I better not come back on here later complaining. That's that's what needs to happen. I'm holding you accountable, Brittany. When you're editing this, this was the decision you made. Also, Randy is going to be upset tomorrow when I'm on my show and he goes to make lunch. And this is no longer in the pantry. We're gonna go ahead and print off our very last order. It just came in. The last one I'm gonna run to the post office today. I have seven to go, and so I just came on the way to the grocery store. I'm not, oh my gosh, I almost forgot what I had done. I was like, I'm not feeling the best. Um, no crap, you're not. Every time, I, every time, it doesn't matter. Oh, I just feel vomity. <laughs> But I know going in, that's how it's going to make me feel. There's just something in it that never agrees. I had already, it was only, what, two hours ago, an hour and a half ago, forgotten what I did to myself. All right, we have a strawberry bushmark, bushmark. <laughs> a strawberry bookmark going to Alicia in Connecticut. Just kidding. <laughs> I am not okay today. I am not okay. Um, she does not live in Connecticut. She lives on a rain. <laughs> Her street has court in the name. CT for court. She lives 45 minutes from me. That's weird in Indiana. Huh. All right. Hmm. It's from TikTok. So most likely it's not well, I shouldn't say most likely. I doubt it's from a show that or a market I went to just because that is the opposite direction of my Cincinnati mark. Is it though? Actually, it might be right near it. She might be from a market. Or she just might be on TikTok and it's a coincidence that she's ordered. 
Okay, I have her all wrapped up here. I have not told you this, but I am straying away from any plastic wrap. I hate those little things that you have to rip off. Um, this one doesn't. This one had a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, claspy uh, Ziploc bag type effect, but these suck. They were not large enough to my bookmarks and they constantly rip. So um, we are done with those. But I'm just done putting a plastic wrap. One, it's bad for the environment. Two, it drives me crazy. And three, I just, all I need is a backing just to keep it secure. Um, and then from just like jumbling around. And then I just wrap it in one piece of tissue paper. And that's just a better option for the environment, you know? What I haven't shown you guys yet <laughs> empty box. What I have not shown you guys yet is that not only did FedEx come with our wine, but UPS came with some beads and I haven't broken into either of those packages. So we're going to do that together on film. I don't know what beads came because truthfully I order beads like twice a week because <laughs> instead of just buying a large amount, my Brittany brain goes... One, it's expensive. And two, I just like second guess myself on what's gonna be popular and what's not. When in reality, it's kind of like the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. You're gonna find, at least online, you're gonna find people that like that thing. So I don't, and the other part of me is like, well, if I can't get a large quantity of it, I don't wanna buy it. When, why? Like you can do small batch stuff and have a limited edition product. Like you don't have to have a forever product because chances are some of these things, I will, I will, I mean, all of them, I'll never be able to do them forever. Something's gonna go out of stock. Some bead I'm gonna have to change. The main thing, like I can change the beads, or beads around and like make different versions of it. But like the charm itself, like I know those charms aren't always gonna be in stock. And so I need to, just get better about being like, okay, it's fine if I only have six of these bookmarks and that's all I'll ever have if I really like it. Cause I see a lot of beads that I loved, but they don't, there's like only one bag of them in stock. So um, I need to get over that mindset. But anyway, that's what I was saying. So okay, I usually do a couple orders a week because I do an order, I make a thing, it does well. And then I go back on to get more and then it's out of stock, you know? So I just need to start buying a decent amount of them um, and then one being okay if it sells out and two being okay not having something that you can keep putting out like my strawberry bookmarks I've sold probably like 150 at this point whereas I had what's my most recent one? Oh, my eclipse bookmark is completely sold out now I think I had only made eight total and it's gone and it's okay you know it's fine. I don't know where I was going with that rant. <sighs> okay, Alicia spells her name different. It's A-L-E-S-H-A. I just get nervous I'm gonna spell the person's name wrong when it's like literally right in front of me and then I'll feel bad because it's like, do you even care about me? How do you? Okay, let's pick. I didn't look through them, I just picked two. We have, uh, don't hurry be happy sloth sticker i will say this batch right here has been a lot better than some of the other ones and then i have a milk a what sticker i gave uh to one of these packages that i was like oh this is <sighs> i wish i could throw it away but like i can't you know because that's money you don't want to throw away money um so someone's getting a weird one i don't remember what it was waiting for the day someone makes a video like an unboxing video and they're like what is that i also have randy picking up more tape because i ran out so these can't leave until i can put there's three of them i need to stick a piece of tape around it my favorite sound and second favorite Oh, it looks, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it looks like I'm naked. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Zip that book up. 
All right, it is 3 p.m. I, I'm feeling like I still have a lot to do, but I don't really, like I don't. I need to make a sign, that's it. I would love to make my belt bag charms, but I'm not pressed about it. Um, electric people never came. Are we surprised? No. Uh, still have no idea when they're coming. Have not received any phone calls. Again, are they coming today? Are they coming tomorrow? Are they coming next week? Are they just gonna show up and hope I'm here? Like that's, I don't know if they're actually gonna show up again. I'm gonna have to call again probably on Monday be like, where are we at on this like love saga we have going on? Okay, let's open packages. No, before we do that, I went to Goodwill and I found, let me put some of this stuff away. Okay, I forgot, I did not mention this. I went, I ordered, I told you, a $150 foldable bookshelf. And I was like, I don't know if it's gonna fit um, with all my stuff. And the next day I looked, <laughs> I was at Goodwill. I'm sorry, this <laughs> lighting. I was at Goodwill and I found this I was going to the bathroom and it was right outside the bathroom and I was like oh my god it's hideous but it's it might be perfect you know it might be perfect <laughs> I didn't even read it I was just like immediately put it in my car um $19.99 my goodwill price is things expensive <laughs> that's to me is expensive I have not opened it. I hope that it says new in box. I hope it's not broken because I immediately canceled the $150 order. So, um, I guess we should open it. Yeah. My plan for it is to have it be, please do not fall. Are you? Okay is to have it be like a little bookshelf and like to have my cups on it. Oh my gosh, I forgot to prep cups. Okay, we have to do that one because I only have six. Maybe I have more, I actually don't know. But I think this crowd um, is gonna be younger and I think they're gonna be more prone to buying cups. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bring 12 or 24, I don't know. I wanna go too crazy. <laughs> I think 12. Um, but I think I wanna have my cups on there and my bookmarks, like uh, books, like use it as a bookshelf. And P.S. I just finished this one, The Court of Frost and Starlight. Very, very quick read, um, but I only read them at nighttime, so it actually did take me a decent amount of time because I only read a couple of chapters and then I fall asleep. So um, very good, very sweet. Not as good as the other ones, that's all I say. Um, so we're on to the final. But yeah, so book, okay, let's open it, let's open it. It's also very messy back here, but like, what do you expect, you know? I have not put my office back together in a month. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What are you? shallow than I was expecting but I guess I should have known by the photos it's ow mother oh just scraped all my toenails up Ugh. oh no guys I don't think that's gonna be <laughs> that's like picture a gust of wind I guess there will be stuff on it though I might just have to like put it like so it's leaning against the pole, like one of the poles. Because um all my markets are outdoor now. Which sucks. Um you know, weather. We had oh my gosh. Oh you saw we had a tornado. Um well we had the sirens go off and the people were like, Okay, if you're in and they said my town, that it the tornadoes there's confirmed tornadoes heading right 
to your downtown and we're like we're right near downtown and so we immediately go to the basement because like the sirens are going and then we get down there and then it was like oh actually just past your area and so we went back upstairs shortly after but um why did i mention my basement oh no i was saying weather yeah you never know if it's gonna be really windy or really nice or what so it's really cute like picture I love how it has this, like, these ledges, because, like, if I put my cups here, I could probably do two cups deep, you know? Put my books here. It's perfect for some books and to, like, display my bookmarks. I think this is going to be good. Yeah, I feel good about this. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. It sucks that I thought it was steeper. I thought I could put, like, some folded sweatshirts. I could probably do, like, one. Like, if I wanted to use one of the tiers and do, like, one sweatshirt style like I could probably fit like three sweatshirts by but I doubt I'll end up we'll see we'll see how much stuff I have I what I want to do is not bring an extra table so my plan is to just bring this my big table that has my charm stuff on it and um two clothing racks we have a 10 by 10 tent so we'll figure that out I might have to bring string just to like <laughs> just to for extra sturdiness tie it to the post it's just you know what I mean you know what I mean that's not like that's not ideal especially if you're on um, uneven oh, uneven territory okay but I love that transportability maybe I should look and see if they have bigger versions of this it's solid oak. It is heavy. It's not great as far as um, me being the only person setting up. But, and I love that it matches this. You know? You know? You know? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let me go get the other stuff now. Okay. Last up before I end this vlog fully, we have our wine. Oh, and I also have the beets um, back there. So... Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm assuming that is what a standard case is. Is my battery dying? Yes, it sure is. Uh, blueberry Tryst. No. <laughs> blueberry Twist. That is a W. Sometimes reading cursive isn't easy. You don't see it all the time. Blueberry and Grape. This is by Little Bear Winery, which I don't remember that one being on the wine trail. Um, I definitely, oh, I love all the hillsides I've tried. So this is Hillside Wineries, Barbara, an American table wine. Can't wait to taste you, Barbara. That's also Randy's mom's name. Mountain Valley Winery. Yes, I, we like this one too. Um, Cabernet Sauv Sauvignon. I'm not going to say these words correctly. This is a dry red wine. Probably won't like you, but we'll definitely drink you. Another blue, did I pick this? another blueberry twist pardon the interruption uh ran out of space on my memory card speaking of space on my memory card do we feel like it would be appropriate to come out with like a vault collection because there are videos on there from years ago like two years ago one year ago just many years ago and um i just never uploaded them like one is me doing my bathroom cabinets one's wedding dress shopping <laughs> i didn't put that one out because i'm like what if i want one of those dresses um i didn't buy any of them yeah let me know let me know in the comments if you want vault dr dresses um a vault of videos <laughs> okay another hillside winery another barbara mountain valley winery cabernet sauvignon I i'm not saying that right hillside don rosso rosso i hope i like them i've actually Thinking back, I don't think when we went to those wineries, I had any red ones. I think I always just picked the white ones. Sugarland Cellars, Elkmont. I don't remember that winery either. Mountain Valley, Semi-Sweet White. This one I will like. I'm going to leave that. That one's going to be my wine this weekend. Where am I going to put all these? We only have six wine spots. Okay. Well, that is exciting. <laughs> This package is nasty. So no matter what you get, they always put it in a bag, even when it's fragile stuff. 
which is not great. I've had beads definitely show up um, in not the best shape before. But you know what, that also helps me because like if a certain bead doesn't do well in a rough environment, it's probably not something I want to use. Okay, this should be a little organizer tray, yes. Okay, so this is going to be the new charm bar station. I'm going to just have the charms organized in here. So that's wonderful. I need to pack that up. Okay, new beads. It's so, they always look different in person. Like, I thought these were going to be bigger. <laughs> And you always think you're gonna get way more than you do. So these are kind of rainbow-esque. Like, they remind me of unicorns. I think this order was just a random hodgepodge of ridiculousness. Like, I thought these were gonna be blue, and they're, I mean, they're kind of tinted, but not really. These are supposed to look like blood, and they just look, eh, uh, kinda, they're a little bloody. Just reddish and silver. These are way bigger than I thought they were going to be. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so my Night Court bookmarks are sold out now. So I'm coming out with a volume two. Unfortunately, I would keep that same design, except I can no longer get these gorgeous moons in black. I can't find them anywhere. And so I opted for volume two to be a bluish turquoise version. Don't know when those are going to come out, but they will come out, hopefully soon, because that is a very popular bookmark. I still have a lot of the old ones. These are just like, I thought these were going to be the same size as my last bookmark ones, and they're just not the same size. They're definitely bigger. Some uh, eye pens and such. Oh, <laughs> mushrooms. I forgot I bought these because I literally just did another order of mushrooms in a different version, so that's... Also fun. I can't remember those things. That's okay. We can have, people love mushrooms. We can have lots of mushrooms. A bunch of, oh, I forgot I had these metallic -y black stars. That'll be pretty. Um, blue beads. I couldn't figure out what size blue or color blue I wanted, so I got a couple different versions. So these were literally like a dollar for a pack of beads. I'm like, you can't really go wrong there. More of my blood ones. They had one pack left of my cute little jelly dog paw prints and so I had a I think like five of those dog charms left so I'm gonna make the last batch of them and then they are gonna be done because I cannot get that color anymore. Some crabs. That's gonna be a special design. You wait for it. More mushrooms. Oh I wanted to test out um yellow strawberries. I don't know how many I got though. Oh, blue ones. I don't think I had many. I'm only gonna have a couple of them. We have some yellow beads for, I'm assuming my brain was saying those were for the yellow strawberries that I have already lost. Yeah, that'd be cute. My least favorite thing is organizing this stuff. There's nothing even, it's this kind of thing stresses me out. When, when my brain buys stuff, from different orders for different orders and it's not all in the same order and I'm like well what did I buy this for again the thing I need the most are my eye pens in the correct size this is not it I mean I need these but this is the only one they have in stock now and it's the only one I don't need at the moment. All right, that's everything. I know I didn't show it all to you, just know there's a mess of beads in front of me that I do not have time to organize. Um, and that concludes our vlog. Hopefully next week I will have everything uploaded for my market vlog. So if you like these kind of videos and you like coming with me to markets and prepping for markets and just randomness, um, please subscribe, please like, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.